today I'm going to go over exam number two and exam number two as you know that the topic is momentum impulse and collision so one of the formula one of the problem that I gave you you remember that the before you are in the middle of the you are in the middle of the river okay what happened you are inside the boat and the boat and you all together the mass is 140 kilogram and what you have been doing in the boat you have been reading a book so the we're gonna call it boat and the mass of the book mass of the book is two kilogram all right and velocity of the book is zero and velocity of the boat is also zero all of a sudden you realize that the boat is not moving because there is no current on the river so you have to go home go home immediately and home is 100 meter away because the shore is right here so what are you going to do you have only one option throw the book if you throw this the book to this direction the boat going to go to the other direction and that's exactly what you're going to be doing uh, you're going to be throwing the book to this direction so that the mass of the book is two kilogram the velocity of the book is 10 meter per second uh, mass of the boat is 140 velocity of the boat you want to try to find let's put prime over here okay very nice now what do you want to do you want to write momentum before is equal to momentum after now i'm going to make a room over here so that i can solve the problem over here so momentum before momentum before is equal to momentum after so m book uh, 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 v book plus m boat v boat is equal to m book v book plus m boat v boat all right so now before the boat is at rest boat is at rest so it is zero the book is at rest so it is zero so momentum before is zero now let's see what happened after the velocity of the book uh, the mass of the book is two and the velocity of the boat is 10 of course plus mass of the boat is 140 and velocity of the boat you're going to try to find all right so velocity of the boat is uh, you see that the 20 divided by 140 there is a negative so it is negative 1 over 7 meter per second all right very nice now you want to find how long it's going to take to come home if home is 100 meter away so how can you find it the time is the time is um distance over velocity so 100 over 1 over 1 over 7 so 100 over 1 times 7 over 1 so 700 second all right 700 second is going to take 700 second all right so 700 second is going to take to get home now all of a sudden while you are on the home all of a sudden it started raining so what happened when it started raining the rain gonna accumulate it on the bottom of the boat and how much rain so uh, water so extra 20 kilogram so now no longer this is no longer 140 is gonna become 160 the velocity of the boat is now 160 now how long is gonna take that's what we're gonna try to find good um but before uh, we do that we're going to see whether the momentum is conserved so to find the momentum is conserved we're going to do p before is equal to p after so m bo book v book plus m boat v boat is equal to m book v book plus m boat v boat this one uh, of course uh, zero and this one is of course zero so zero and after has to be zero so that the momentum is constant now let's see what happened the book is two and the velocity of the book is 10 plus boat is 140 and the velocity of the boat is negative 17 so zero is equal to uh, 20 and 7 goes to is 20 all right negative 20, 20 uh, plus positive 20 negative 20 is zero so yes momentum is conserved now all of a sudden you see there is a rain and there's a 20 kilogram rain on the boat now you're going to try to find how long it's going to take okay so super easy so that that is the second part so how are we going to do it 
we're going to write uh, m m book v book plus m bot v bot is equal to m book v book plus m bot v bot now before you see this is zero and after what happened the book is still two kilogram and the velocity of the book is still 10 the mass of the boat is now 160 because 20 plus 140 is 160 v boat now v boat is 20 over 160 there is a negative zero zero cancel so negative one over eight meter per second all right now it's going to take longer it's not going to take 700 seconds it's going to take longer how much longer so t is equal to now t is equal to d over uh, d over v so t is equal to um 100 over 1 over 1 over 8 so it's going to be 100 over 1 okay uh, 100 over 1 let me do it here so people see it 100 over 1 times 8 over 1 so it's going to take 800 seconds before it took 700 seconds now it take 800 seconds because the uh, the velocity decreases because the boat is now uh the 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 heavier okay so that's the reason okay now we gonna have to find whether the momentum is conserved momentum is conserved with this one as well because mb v uh, vb v book uh, plus m bot v bot is equal to m book v book plus m bot v bot so this is zero this is zero now this is zero so this is two this is ten this is 160 and this is negative 1 over 8 so 0 is equal to 0 again momentum is conserved all right so now we're going to solve the problem number two number two you have a granite so 100 kilogram granite <coughs> that moves with i don't know moves with 110 meter per second okay so this is the past problem we have to find the momentum so very easy so momentum is momentum is uh, mv so m is 100 kilogram and v is 110 so that would be uh, 11000 so 11000 kilogram meter per second that's the momentum all of a sudden what happened all of a sudden what happened the granite so this is a granite broke in three pieces all right you shoot a bullet uh, to the to the granite and granite broke in three, three pieces so piece number one 40 kilogram piece number two 50 kilogram and piece number three 10 kilogram notice that conservation of mass y 40 plus 50 is 90 plus 10 is 100 conservation of momentum there you go now this one moves with 30 meter per second this one moves to 20 meter per second and now you have to find the velocity of this one that's all you need to find so let's call it mass 1 let's call it mass 2 let's call it mass 3 so this one is super easy unlike the other one so what are you going to do you're going to write uh, momentum before is equal to momentum after momentum before you already know 11,000 so 11 1 2 3 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 uh, plus m3 v3 so you already know m1 is 40 and v1 don't write 30 is negative 30 because it's moving to the west m2 is 50 v2 is of course 20 m3 is uh, 10 and v3 you're going to try to find so 11,000 is equal to um, 12 1 0 2 0 negative plus 10 1 0 2 0 plus v3 1, uh, 100 uh, 10 all right now 11,000 is equal to negative 200 and 1,000 so the negative 200 uh, and plus v3 10 so now you're gonna I'm gonna bring it over here otherwise you're probably not gonna see so uh, if, the, if I bring it over here this is gonna become 11,200 11,200 is equal to 10 v3 all right, so V3 is one, one, two, zero meter per second. So this one moves with one, one, two, zero meter per second. All right, that's it. Now we're gonna see whether the momentum is conserved. So I'm gonna make a room over here and I'm gonna check momentum is conserved or not. So one, 
uh, 11,000 um, 11, is equal to, I have, uh, so I'm gonna write M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3. So 11,000 is equal to M1 is of course 40 times negative 30 plus M2 is of course 50 times 20 plus M3 is M3 is of course 10 times 1120. So 11,000 is equal to negative 1200 positive 1000 and plus 11200. All right, now 11000, 11, 11,000. This is there is a 200 over here, negative 200, and positive 11200. All right, so 11,000 is equal to 11,000. All right, so momentum is of course constant. Momentum is always constant. Any type of collusion, remember that momentum is always constant. Only few people watching. Um, all right, so. Now we're going to do the next problem, problem number three. Problem number three, I have two card. All right, so collision of two card. So it's a collision problem. So I have a card. I have a card. Let's say card is, I don't know, the card is moving to the east and the card is how much? Let's say the card is 1,000 kilogram. 1,000 kilogram and moves to 20 meter per second. And the next card is, of course, uh, is, uh, let's say, I don't know, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, 1200 um, kilogram, I don't know, uh, 1200 kilogram, 1200 kilogram, and move, move to it, I don't know, uh, let's say 25, 25 meter per second. This is before. Now, after, after, oh, 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 after, after this one, we don't know which one, which direction this one moves, uh, so we're just not gonna put the direction. But this one moves, this one changes the direction. This one changes the direction, and this, this one moves this direction of 21, 21 meter per second. What do you wanna try to find? The velocity of this one after the collision. Okay, good. So how are you gonna do that? Of course, uh, it's super easy, so you can do it M1, v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime okay so what is m1 1000 so 1 1000 and v1 of course 20 plus what is m2 m2 is of course 1200 and v2 is of course a negative 25 negative 25 because it's moved to the west is equal to um so m1 is still 1000 v1 prime we are going to try to find it plus you have uh the m2 is 1200 and v2 is 21 okay so far so good so we have here 20 1 2 3 1 2 3 plus uh 12 times 25 so i have uh 1200 times 25 is equal to uh, 30,000. All right, is equal to, now you have 1,000 V1 prime plus 21 times 1,200. And that would be 25,200. Okay, now let's see what happened. I have, um, uh, this is negative negative because there is a negative over here. So be careful. This is negative. So this is 10,000 negative 10,000 negative 10,000 is equal to um, uh, 25 200 25,200 uh, plus 1,000 B prime. Right now I'm going to bring this one to this side and then let's see what happened. So So 25,200 so it's going to be 35,200 is equal to 1,000 V1 prime. Alright, so divide by and then 35.2. So the velocity, the velocity of this one would be, the velocity of this one would be negative 35.2 negative 35.2 I'm gonna just write west so this one now moving to the other side other direction 
okay with how much 35.2 now we're gonna see whether the momentum conserved how are we gonna check m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime so m1 is how much 1000 and v1 is how much of course 20 plus m m2 is 1200 and v2 is of course how much uh, negative 25 is equal to m1 is how much 1000 and 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 uh, and the v1 prime is negative negative 35.2 uh, plus m2 is how much m2 is 1200 times m2 times 1000 30, uh, so negative 35 and then you have plus you have 1200 times 21 and that would be 252 so negative 10,000 is equal to negative 10,000. Right, momentum is conserved. We just caught the mistake we made. We wrote 25 instead of 21. This sometime uh, you can make typo and that was what happened. Now we're gonna uh, solve the final problem, okay? All right, so what is the final problem? The final problem is a gun problem. All right, so you have a gun before. This is not good, so I'm just gonna use this one. So before and after. So before there is a gun and um, the gun, all right? So the gun and there is a bullet inside the gun, all right? So the mass of the gun is of course the bigger, so let's say three kilogram, and the um, velocity of the gun is zero. Mass of the bullet is, of course, uh, small, and that is 0 0.04, and velocity of the bullet is also zero. Uh, after, after what happened, when the bullet is outside the gun, outside the gun, so bullet is over here. So now, the mass of the gun is still three kilogram, and the velocity of the bullet, a gun, we're gonna have to find. The mass of the bullet is still 0 0.04 velocity of the bullet is uh, given 120 meter per second all right so what are you going to do we're going to solve this problem how can we solve this problem so momentum before momentum before is equal to momentum after so m gun v gun plus m bullet v bullet is equal to m gun v gun plus m bullet v bullet so this one is zero because this one is at rest this one is zero because this guy bullet is at rest so this is zero mg is a three velocity of the gun is uh, of course the velocity of the gun is we are trying to find plus mb and the, and the mb is 0 0.04 and velocity of the bullet is 120. all right now we can gonna take our trusty calculator and let's see what happened 0 0.04 times 120 and that will be 4.8 so this is uh, this is uh, velocity of the gun is negative 3 4.8 so 4.8 divided by 3 would be 1.6 so velocity of the gun is negative 1.6 meter per second or just velocity of the gun is 1.6 meter per second to the west and it makes sense because bullet goes to this way with 120 meter per second and gun goes this way with 1.6 meter per second this is called the coil velocity everybody thank you for watching and i will of course see you tomorrow